But spiritually, are we ready for some work? Come on. Amen. Amen. I've got something that the Lord has just really been dealing with me about for a while, but it's really kind of come to a head as of late. Amen. Praise God. And I and it's it's about the body of Christ. I tell you today, we better get get straightened up. Come on. I tell you, we look at society right now and the signs of the times. Things that are going on, and we need Jesus. Yeah. Everybody's freaking out about the gas getting high, about the economy getting worse, about insurance, about food going up, etc., etc. But see, I see more Christians today panicking than I do non Christian. I see, praise God, Christians that are supposed to be spirit filled, they claim to be. Acting worse than the non-believers. Come on. Amen. We are supposed to know, praise God, the answer, which is Jesus. We're supposed to have the answer to people's problems that come to us. Come on. But when they come to us, Brother Gary, and we can't give them an answer, and all we do is fret and whine and complain over everything that's going on, something's wrong here. Come on. The roles are reversed. Amen. See, praise God, every one of us in here filled with the Holy Ghost, hallelujah to God, should be helping those that are going astray. Come on. See, we're called to be laborers for this great harvest. But what are we doing? What are we accomplishing for the kingdom? Come on. What are we preaching? What are we teaching? Are we producing signs, wonders, and miracles? I seen it 15 years ago, Brother Jimmy. People had a hunger for God. You talk about Calvary. People would be at the altar weeping. Come on. Tears would be flowing down their face for what Jesus did for them and took their sin away, paid the debt. Thank you, Lord. I don't see that anymore. Yeah. I see Hollywood production. Come on. I see the sick walk in and they leave out the same. Come on. And he said, praise God, that you would be able to lay your hands on the sick and they would recover. Recover, amen. So why ain't we seeing the works of God? Come on. It's because of us, our unbelief. We don't believe that God can do what He says. <clears throat> That's on. just the truth of it. Amen? Amen. Come on. I'm going to be blunt tonight, so please don't get mad. I'm tired of seeing people in financial bondage. Come on. When God can break that curse. Amen. Well, really, in all actuality, if you were tired and quit robbing from God, amen to God, you wouldn't have a curse on you. Come on. Amen. 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 I see people taking dope. Taking medication for the nerves. Hallelujah. What do they call it? Prozac? To get themselves calmed down. If you've got the Holy Ghost, the Prince of Peace in your life, you should have a calm, peaceful life. Amen. Amen. I know that's not going to get many claps right there. Because most of the church is on dope. Come on. They run to a psychiatrist. Pay him four or five hundred dollars a week to tell them their problems that he could care less. I'm all. But when Jesus said, if you just give them to me, yeah. I'll set you free. Amen. Hallelujah. What's wrong with the church today? Not the building. That's not the church. I'm all. We are the church, Amen. the body of Christ. Yeah. Each and every one of us that's born again Amen. is the church. Amen. And Jesus Christ is the head. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You say, Brother Mike, we've been praying for revival. Revival begins with you, with me. It don't begin when you put a sign on the door and says, Brother so-and-so and so is preaching seven days. Come on. And we're going to have special singing by the so-and-so family. Amen. Revival begins when we pray. Come on. When we get on our face before God. Yeah. And start seeking His will. Amen. 
Hallelujah. I'm tired of hearing messages today that tell you how good you are. Come on. We need to know who we are in Jesus. Yeah. I am a born again child of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I am blessed. I'm the head, not the tail. Glory to God. I'm going over and not under. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. All the riches of the kingdom are mine. Amen. Every benefit's mine. Healing's mine. Deliverance is mine. Salvation's mine. You go on and on and on. Because if He wants to give it to you, praise God, it's yours. Amen. Amen. So why ain't you receiving it? Right, Brother Frank. Praise God. We cry for revival. But we won't give God five minutes of time. Come on. But we'll stay on the internet though five, six, seven, eight hours. Come on. We'll stay on Facebook doing the wrong thing. Amen. And thank God for Facebook if you use it for Jesus. Amen. But if you get on there just to goof around, something's wrong. Come on. Yeah. Let's take every avenue God has given us and use it for His glory. Amen. 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 We're using Facebook for the glory of God. Oh, Hallelujah. We're using YouTube for the glory of God. Amen. Hallelujah. You can take your cell phones. I thought I had it, but it's back there. You can take your cell phones and send text messages to people for the glory of God. Amen. And all it costs you is like $10 a month on your plan. Amen. Unlimited. Because if I had to pay for text, I'd be broke. Amen. And text add up 25 cents a text. But you know, I've made, the Lord has laid it on my heart every day to send somebody a text message. To let them know, praise God, have a good day. Have a good night. Jesus loves you. I love you. I'm thinking about you. I'm praying about you. No, I'm not off my rocker. I care. Come on. Because that might be the one thing somebody needs in this place or out there by YouTube or Facebook, praise God, that might keep them from killing themselves. Amen. Come on. So if you get my text in the morning, don't just say there's that goofy Mike texting me. No, I love you and care for you. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Praise God. There's been times I've got text messages. That's really encouraged me. Praise God. Brother Billy knows I've run him to death with them. Come on. Amen. So let's go to 1 Kings. Praise God. Excuse me. I'm going to try not to hold y'all too long tonight, but man, I've got to give this to you. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. Woo. Is it okay if I come back after this, Brother Billy? Ask me later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. I always ask him, man, he lets me come back, so hallelujah. Y'all pray for me. I've got a Muslim man mad at me, praise God. Hallelujah. They need prayer. Amen. When you tell the truth, praise God, it makes the devil mad. Amen. So he's not really mad at me, it's just the enemy mad at the truth I spoke. Come on. First Kings chapter 18, beginning in verse 19. And when you have it, say amen. 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 We're going to read down through verse 39. Hallelujah. I was going to read the whole chapter, but I just got to get the main text here. Amen. And the Bible says, Now therefore send and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Carmel, and the prophets of Baal 450, and the prophets of the groves 400, which eat at Jezebel's table. So Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. Somebody say, Follow him. Follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. Then said Elijah unto the people, I, even only I, I, even I only remain a prophet of the Lord, but Baal's prophets are 450 men. Let them therefore give us two bullocks. Let them choose one bullock for themselves, cut it into pieces, lay it on the wood, put no fire under it, and I will dress the other bullock and lay it on the wood and put no fire under it. And call ye on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord. What's his name, church? Jesus. Amen. And the God that answereth by fire, let him be God. 
And all the people answered and said, It is well spoken. Amen. Amen. And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, Choose you one bullock for yourselves, dress it first, for ye are many, and call on the name of your gods, but put no fire under. And they took the bullock which was given them, and they dressed it and called on the name of Baal from morning even until noon, saying, O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice. But I know of a voice. Praise God. Lord. Hallelujah. I'll get Amen. to that in a minute. Amen. Nor any that answered. And they leaped upon the altar which was made. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them and cried aloud, For he is a God. Either he is talking or he is pursuing. Or he is in a journey or peradventure he sleepeth and must be awakened. And they cried aloud, and they cut themselves after the manner with knives and lances, till the blood gushed out upon them. And it came to pass, when midday was past, that they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, that there was neither voice, nor any answer, nor any to answer, nor any that regardeth. Amen. And Elijah said unto all the people, Come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him. And he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. I'll tell you, let me stop there for a minute. We need to repair that altar tonight. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And Elijah took twelve stones according to the number of the tribes of the son of Jacob, unto whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be thy name. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord. What's his name, church? Jesus. Amen. Don't forget that. And he made a trench about the altar as great as would contain two measures of seed. And he put the wood in order and cut the bullock in pieces, laid him on the wood and said, Fill four barrels of water, pour it on the bird sacrifice and on the wood. And he said, Do it the second time. And they did it the second time. And he said, Do it the third. And they did it the third. And the water ran about the altar and he filled the trench also with water. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that thou art the God in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. Now we're getting good now. Amen. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, and thou hast turned their heart back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell Amen. and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces. And they said, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. And Elijah said unto them, Take the prophets of Baal, let not one of them escape. And they forsook them, and Elijah brought them down to the brook Kishon and slew them there. You said, tired of hearing that. But if you listen to the Word, you see, praise God, Elijah, he challenged them. 450 prophets of Baal and 400, what did it say? 400 prophets of the grove. 850 prophets against one man. And he stood his ground. Amen. Did not let the devil run him off. Come on. I want to use for a subject tonight, hallelujah, how to have revival when your wood's wet. Come on. 